So we'll just go into the server and see where the files are stored. So if we click on services and HTTP, this is where the map file is. So if you click on edit, you can see you could change certain things here and that would reflect. For example, I can edit this line to be this campus map. I'll click on save. Yes, I'll close it. Go to the laptop. Open the browser again. Type the URL. And as I click on campus map, it shows me an image of this campus map. So this is how you can experiment in Cisco Packet Tracer. You can create your own websites and try to communicate uh, from a laptop to the server. So now the other question is, how did the laptop understand that insti.ac.in meant that particular web server and how was it able to reach there? We'll be talking about it in the future lectures, but just to show you, there is something called DNS or domain name service. Here, this particular string or the name has been mapped to a particular IP address which belongs to this server. We can see it here. 10.10.10.10. We will look at it in more details in the future lectures. So we encourage you that you download this packet tracer file, try to make some changes and see how communication happens. That is it for now. Thank you.